Um, hold on. Xander's sending me something related to the COVID. Xander. Oh, I've been Brandino. loving Xander. I would like to uh, love take Xander. Xander deserves way more respect. You know what the problem is with Xander? I got to take him out to dinner. Look the man in the eye. I know. I feel like he's just a, a shape shifting ghost to me. I literally have well, no idea Well, I'd what like he to know what like. Xander thinks about Todd Detter and Todd <laughs> Detter's behavior lately. I mean, surely it's not something Xander would ever do. I don't like bad behavior. I trust Xander a lot and love him. I like him, but you don't want to give him too much credit because when he comes after us, and he will, uh, then you'll be like, well, you said Xander was. Listen, mm. everybody is going to be after us I kind of want to sit on a couch with him where it's a couch with only two cushions and I'm sitting on one cushion and you're sitting on the other and Xander like goes this. in like the middle of the couch and then we both put our arms around him. Oh, no, I don't want that. I want you in the middle going like this. And I go, what are you doing? You go, skiing. Okay, either or. You hear that, Xander? There's a big prize in it for you if you um, do the right Xander thing. Xander says play this video from the beginning and Joe's going to talk about this Brendan one here? bike riding. Brendan bike riding. Listen to this. This is disturbing. <laughs> the Joe Rogan experience. It's a very insane time. Yeah. You know why people overreact, though? Wait, it's when's this from? It's not today. the same. This, oh, this is from today. He's with Russell Peters. I guess so. I Joe Rogan does so many podcasts, you might miss four of them before you realize there's a new one out. <laughs> it's too many. Well, when you're making 100 grand per ep, why not? Yeah, I'd have conversations with my buddies, too, if they were 500 G's at peace. All right. So he's talking about Brendan's bike riding. Joe, it's... I feel just so bad for the world. And look, ooh, ooh, ee, ee. What is this? Uh, play on black people here? Look at this. Joe Rogan opens his clips with a uh, scene from George Floyd's childhood. It's awful what he's doing here. I despise rakeism. Uh, it's disgusting. Look at this. So is this supposed to be George Floyd and this is the cop? Oh, let's see what happens. <laughs> The Joe Rogan experience. It's a very insane time. I haven't seen yeah. this. So you know why it. people overreact, though? It's because it's not the same for everybody. Like, I have a friend who got COVID. He's 37. He was clear of it in three days. In three days. He felt like shit. He couldn't oh. smell. He couldn't Brandon. taste. Three days later, he was on z -Pack You're already some... talking about Brendan as if it's a success story? <laughs> what the fuck? Brendan is just got corona. You're like, he's fine. He had it. He got it. He's fine. You are a sunburnt hill runner. And you know what? I hope the coyotes team up and they get on each other's shoulders and they finally take down the dad of all these puppies. <laughs> and your dog needs to be taken from you. That Marshall. I've never hated a golden retriever more. Only Joe Rogan can make me want to kill and put down a golden retriever. Which isn't illegal if the dog bites. That's fucked up. I want to put a rumor out. Joe Rogan's dog bites. Those are nice. I hate Marshall Rogan. Joe Rogan's dog. It's a white supremacist. I don't know if I can even take you saying that. I love him. I love. If I ever dog, saw that dog, I'd kick it. him square in the bottom of the <laughs> chin. Yeah. A golden retriever thinks he's tough, but he's all talk. If I ever see a golden retriever, I'll beat the fuck out of him. What is he going to do? Paw me lightly and try to lick me? I'll cut that dog set off and serve him up on a kebab for Alex Jones's graphic design department. I'm just kidding. I like your dog. It's not the best looking golden retriever in my opinion. Joe Rogan's dog is not what I, I wouldn't take him. You like a more thin. Do you like the brick headed golden retrievers or like the skinny in the middle? Ones? I like it in the middle. Joe Rogan's golden retriever looks like a fucking tard. <laughs> it's too block headed. <laughs> I like a nicer golden retriever. In fact, I don't even want a golden retriever anymore. Too many. F have them. I've kind of switched to wanting like a Doberman. I know, but they're pincher. not as fucking. A golden retriever is going to give you the best life. But yeah. the people who own golden retrievers are all awful. And uh, so I don't know what to do. But I also think it would be funny for you to have a golden retriever because you're so mismatched. This is what I want to do. I want to handcuff Joe Rogan's dog and give him the electric chair. 
Has he ever done that to a dog? It's my dog. I'll put him down however I want. And I want him to death by electrocution. The chair. The state's chair. Okay? Governor Texas. Here you go. Joe Rogan. I don't know what he's going to say. What is this about? Xander sent it. Yeah, it's about Brandon. Xander, Xander, Xander. I made you out of clay. When you're dry and ready, I'll go to Arizona and play. Oh, yeah. Xander, by the way, said, add me to a Zoom press conference and I'll speak out on debtor. (gasps) Really? Hey, man. I want, this is what I want. (laughs) This debtor, I want debtor to just go, dude, I'm really sorry. I'll never do this again. I want to be friends with these people. What don't they understand? Why wouldn't you want to be friends with host? This is what I think is so crazy is everyone's always like, Mike can't keep a friend. He pushes everyone away. But it's, it's, you know, that's I've never heard anything about like you. that. That's You've never awful. Heard these I've never. No, I don't read rumors. <laughs> well, that's, anyways, uh, that's awful. That's what people say. <laughs> okay, and? But it's like they are so mean to you for years. And then when you're finally like, hey, what's up? Then they flip out on you and it's your fault. Well, they're retards. Like the Anyone who guy. likes Red Bar is crazy to begin with. Oh, yeah. Who likes Red Bar? Oh, yeah. All right. Here it is. The Shumanzi himself, Rogan. And I hate Russell Peters. He's a molester of girl. <laughs> the Joe Rogan experience. It's a very insane time. Yeah. You know why people overreact, though? It's because... It's not the same for everybody. Like, I have a friend who got COVID. He's 37. Look at this guy, Todd. I love Todd Detter stuff because Todd hates. I mean, I get messages from Todd. I'm, I'm close to showing you them, but I would never do that. I respect him too much. I love when people say stuff like this. Todd needs to be punished. I was starting to be, feel bad about all the yeah. stuff we said about Todd on the last show, and I was going to go, let's not say anything else about Todd. He doesn't deserve this. But ever since you said that he was saying oh, mean wait stuff you about see. me behind the scenes. Horrible now. stuff about your IQ. Oh. Todd is so my mean. My IQ. He's so mean. And uh, he doesn't mean to be mean. I think that's why people love him. They know he loses it, but he refuses to apologize. He loses it. He refuses to apologize. Yes, exactly. Mike. And uh, without that Todd Detter apology, I want to slowly make fun of him day in and day out until he takes his own life. And actually, I got to walk that back. He He's the type of person who might take his own life. So I got to say this. I don't, don't do me- it. Todd. I don't mean it. The courts. The courts. I'm nice. I don't ever mean well, anything. Well, so you're else. only worried about the courts, not yes. Todd's life. No, I I'm actually worried about his life. Even no, at, uh, through all the cruel Anytime things he's, he's done I, to me. No, I'm only ever worried about getting in trouble for someone dying. Okay, everyone say one nice thing about Todd. Um, Los Angeles cool. I saw says, a picture I liked of him when he drew poop on Michaela's butt. I also. I like know that. we like that too, but you got to see him in his maroon wine-colored red bar hoodie. He bought like a three XL. It looks so stupid. Whenever he wears our merch, I, I, I'm like, what's the point of even selling merch? He ruins it. He looks so bad in our merch that that might be my only real problem with him to begin with. <laughs> I got to show you this picture. Where did I see this picture of him? If anyone knows this picture, he's wearing the wine colored red bar hoodie that was exclusive. And it's like down to his knees. It's fucking sickening. Hey, I have the red bar maroon hoodie and I also wear mine as it a 2XL. Matt, down to and my yeah, knees. it reminds me of Todd. <laughs> oh, so that's why you don't like it. I have all of these outfits where it's like a giant hoodie, like 90% of my clothes is a huge t-shirt. And then I, when I wake up in the morning, Mike goes, oh, a guy outfit again. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> if anyone can find me that picture of Todd wearing that merch. Wait. Yeah, merch. Now I'm confused with merch and merch. Oh, by the way, before we get out of here, we got to show Mersh's DMs. So send them over. It's happening. Um... I forgot to put my on my okay women can be as a dress we need that we need that pic I don't know where I saw it I saw it yesterday it was like Todd Detter at a wedding no where was he He was with somebody and I'm not kidding it was so disgusting that I wanted to just 
burn all my merch because of how sickening he made it look. All right, we have to play this clip. Before we end, we're going to show you Mersh's DMs about me. You're going to love these. And thank you, Xander, for the clip. Don't worry, Xander. I'll never make fun. And, and people people do get worried. Remember, you got to be so mean to me to get talked about on this show. And that's what you got to realize. Oh, no, I don't want to be. Only people that are so mean to me that deserve to be jailed for how mean well, they are. you either have to be so mean to you or do a tiny little comment that's just a misunderstanding. It's either you had to be so mean or it had to be yeah, something I read wrong. Yeah. Either way, somebody was saying Rico is dying in the hospital. Maybe it's a rumor. I hope so. I don't. He's nice. No. I want more people I know to descend into... No, we into... have too many enemies. We've no, made a lot of enemies no, we don't. this week. I need, by the end of the week, someone I know personally needs to descend to ground. It's a burial. I wouldn't mind. Here you go. Xander's clip. We have no idea what's going to happen. It's from today's Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan discusses D.L. Hughley's collapse in Corona Covey. Let's hear what he says about 19. <laughs> the Joe Rogan experience. Oh. It's ha, a ha, very ha. insane time. By the way, this hoo hoo ha ha, you might as well be saying ha 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 ha, black people. <laughs> black people. Joe Rogan. The Joe Rogan experience. It's a very insane time. Yeah. You know why people overreact, though? It's because. He fingers people. It's not the same for everybody. Like, I have a friend who got COVID. He's 37. He was clear of it in three days. Brandon. Three days, he felt like shit. He couldn't smell. He couldn't taste. Three days later, he was on Z Pack mm -hmm. and something else, and oh, just stayed home. And he got vitamin IVs every day. And then three days later, he's going on a twenty-five mile bike ride. Three right. days, <clears throat> three days, he's yeah. fine. I don't know if it's a good idea to go on that bike ride, by the way. Yeah, but I want to see what happens, so I'm not saying anything. <laughs> wanna, wow. hope, hope he wears a mask. Yeah, I want to see if it uh, makes him feel like shit if he goes on the bike ride or if he feels. This great. would be like if I befriended Nat Clo. <laughs> Why are you even friends with Brendan Shaw? Because you made fun of him once and ruined his boxing, fighting, beat-up career? I really hate this whole thing. This American flag made out of tin. This grunge flag. This should be a disgrace to the flag. What do they call that when you're disparaging the flag? You shouldn't be allowed to make a flag out of metal and distress. Make it orange and fucking gold. No, no, no. That's the same thing as burning the flag. I was talking to DL because, you know, he just D got yeah, diagnosed. Yeah, I saw. That and was really scary. Donkey lips. And the he was like, no, I got nothing. He's fine? Yeah. I have, they said I've felt nothing the entire time. Well, um, he coughed a little today. He, he had a video, a little bit of video. He was hilarious. He's like, oh, my Colvis is acting up. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. because <laughs> he probably smoked a joint right before that. <laughs> probably. Uh, right. Joint, uh, uh, but it was scary fuck off, watching oldies. him just slump into... Un two oldies. Two 60-year-old men sunburnt from the day's rays xander says that's pretty much the end okay, he just good. wanted to show that he's waffling over Shaw. oh yeah this rogan is on my shit list believe it or not uh all right what do we got next year i know there was good stuff coming up well we also oh, have the denny thing i want to read mersh's things okay first. i'll send you you know she likes mersh this poor mersh is so confused. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> this poor Mersh is so confused. And I understand it. Mersh goes, you know what? I've been nice to Mike for so You got to watch our last episode. <laughs> we talked so about this guy. Mersh. For him. He really thinks I have it for him. He's so wrong. He needs to make up for me. But you got to see these messages he sent. On the last show. And where are you? Are, have you sent him, Jules? Am yeah, I just I sitting here? Them too. Oh, no. You did. I hope I and, you know, on the last show, I said, Mersh, Mersh. I trashed Mersh for about three hours. Okay, you should have it now. And then we started trashing this really short, skinny guy named Jesse P.S. And I realized, oh, Mersh hates Jesse P.S. Let's have Mersh call in and me and Mersh could become friends again. Reunited. Reunited as friends. friends. Yeah, friends again, friends, friends again. again. And then... um. Mersh refused to call in thinking it was a setup. Is this it? The blue? Yeah. I hope 
I thought there was more than this. That's it. Really? That's all I've ever okay. talked. Okay. Um, here's Jules to Mersh. Hey, Mersh, Mike wants you to Skype in the Red Bull. I didn't say, hey, Mersh. I know. I like to always say, hey. Mike wants you to Skype in the Red Bar. Are you in? What's your Skype name? This is all about Jesse P.S., by the way. Nothing about you. This is not a setup. <laughs> and Mersh, who was pretending to eat one-ounce ribeyes at a popular steak chain that doesn't serve ribeye, said this. Set up or not, all due respect, I have a show of my own to do within the hour. I like Mike, and I've never said a negative word about the guy. But he sure has a lot of shit to say about me lately without any provocation. And now I'm just supposed to present myself with zero notice because I'm being summoned? Come on. If I was on my show demanding Mike's Skyped in with zero notice, he'd laugh at me, and rightfully so. Let's be real with each other here. Holy shit! He don't want to be no cuck. He don't want to be roped in. What an idiot, though. He That's could've... why I feel so bad as Mersh and Royce take everything so seriously. But he's so stupid, because if he would have called in, I really, like... And if he's there now, I know it is. Some, and by the way, I would never fucking do that. You're right. But I don't like people using what would Mike do to get out of jam. Yeah, that's what would Mike do. Yeah, that's what, what would Mike do. do. You would do it, but you know I wouldn't. So it's gay. Get it? Mersh, you need to call in now or you're fucking through. You get it? Do you hear me? Nah. I've always showed him nothing but respect. Get on my show now. It's a friendship call. You fucking stupid ass bitch. Sorry for calling you that, but you got to just get on the show. All these guys, man, you know. Can't all these guys just be nice to us, never mention us, never say a word against us, but always worship us, but let us shit on shit them, on make them, fun them of terribly. Their looks, yeah, that's how everything like. we can think of. This that's is all we ask. My ideal existence would be to make fun of Mersh daily horribly and so bad that he wants to take his own life but at the same time he never cares and allows me to summon him but if they say one even little sarcastic hint of a joke against yeah, us then we're furious through and you're dead <laughs> do you hear me you cockroach is that too much to ask i think that's great mersh you're so stupid you should have called in i really it would have been like a bonding moment with mersh but he thinks I'm up to something. This is what people don't realize about me. I don't have ulterior motives. But I'm also very scared. That's why they're always so worried because they all have like 60 plans yeah, that they're exactly. running at the they're same time. They're always so running. They have to make sure that everything we gotta get is out of these the up and up. I keep saying we shouldn't stop talking about these nerds. I got to break it to you. I got to admit something. I like messing with these fucking nerds. Jesse I love it so much, but Here's I feel my like problem. there's, a, I'm being serious, that uh -oh. there's so many people that probably don't like I it. I don't know. Here's what I want to say, and this is what I want to say to the audience. I just kind of get a kick out of messing with these nerds. What do you guys say? Can we mess with them a bit longer? Jesse P.S., I got something coming out against him that Jules is going to set up. Holy fuck. I mean, he might take his own life after what we got coming out. We're doing a huge... I hope he has a bunker that he can hide in for a I few I literally, months. we've been working on this for months about Jesse. We've got a huge expose coming that's going to be public on YouTube about him that really is... Holy fuck. I mean, he literally might move out of the... I'm not kidding. He might move out of the country. Wow. Is this going to be bad? Could come next week, could come two weeks from now, a month from now, a year from now. Oh my God, are we building a case? <laughs> it's fuck, really? Like seriously, he's going to get naked and show you his dank. Brandon Mueller, what was that comment that yeah. you left on what the Jesse it, thing about Studi where you're like, Studi made me laugh because we died laughing <laughs> at that, but I can't remember what it was now. And the BBC. Oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Fuck, oh, I by the way, Studi is a full enemy. Um, 
So many enemies. How about this? All my enemies? Give me money. Ah. Oh my god, sorry, she's burning herself. I want money for my enemies or they're fucked. Is that legal? Just kidding. Uh, guys, we're going to have a great 4th of July, you know, these enemies. You got to leave them alone. All right. What do we got next year? I'm not doing Peterson. I don't think Jesse's fans in the chat says, I hope it's worth it. Jesse is on top right now. Who said this right down there? And it just simply no, write just down the Jesse name. Jesse fan who's been I in know. the chat all day. Being simply like, write down his name for me. Oh, because we're making Buddy, a list. You're going to be a part of this. You know, the best thing that we did. your family has a place to What hide. you got to do, because these guys are so weak, go after all the fans first. Make them so scared to be involved <laughs> that they back out of both podcasts. That's what you got to do first. I've learned this from Warren. And then it's manipulate, denial, and deceit them all. Then you don't really have to do any work. And you could admit your evil plans in front of them. They're too stupid to remember that you've admitted them. That's why I'm doing it. So, like, with this guy, what we'll do, put him on a list, and like I did to Nat Klo, we'll disparage Nat Klo so much that he don't want to be involved in any of this. Do you see? And you could unveil the plan twice like a villain from Scooby-Doo, <laughs> and they'll still continue to get caught up. All right? You just can't win. Bermuda, Bahama. Uh, come on, Jesse, mama, to my pee pee. Mommy pee. Jesse, mama, me pee. What were we singing? Uh, Jules and I came up with a song about Jesse P.S. Okay, we it's a parody it. song that we want to sing right now. What? Wait, hold on. How does Look it go? Hold on. Me and Jules wrote a song, okay? We okay. spent some time writing a song about Jesse. It's a parody song. Okay, I remember now. Are you ready? I don't remember it, though. Here, I'll Sorry. type it to you. Type it to me. I'll have this drink because I got it. We have a big song that we want to sing. It's a duet. It's really funny. You remember it? Yes. Hold okay. on one second. Liquid Courage because it's a big song. And we did pre-record this because it's a parody. So that's a lot. This is lip synced. Okay, <clears throat> count me in. One. God bless Jesse. It's like a parody of <laughs> God bless the USA. And I'm proud to be a Sidarian. Where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the n you died. Right on George Floyd's knee, and I proudly stand up next to him. Cause he hit. I don't know where I'm going with it, but I love that song, especially on the 4th of July. They're saying it was beautiful. All right, that's a parody. <laughs> oh, wait, I think you just. Boom, 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 you kicked boom, out boom, some boom, kind of internet, but not the show. Oh, I didn't. My kick internet out. just went out. <laughs> my, 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 my internet, Mike's punk voice. I think people need a song from me. I was singing some less than Jake, maybe some less than Jake karaoke. I know. Oh, do you have that password, that Wi-Fi password? Do you have that password, that Wi-Fi password? Ends Tiffany Hash. Do you have that password, that Wi-Fi? Jules is like Avril Lavigne. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. You have no idea how big same the teeth. That what? I like her teeth. Yeah, it's a compliment. Everything I say about you is a compliment. No, oh, thanks. Mike plays it down, but he's actually a great singer. Thank you. It's about time. Nice Green Day tribute, someone says. That's very funny. What do we got here? Um, sorry, I'm distracted because all the internet on my computer just went out. It's okay. Just read my internet. Jesse, 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 Jesse. Everyone's saying something about Jesse. I love it. We're going to pick on Jesse for three, four years. Just lightly, though, like this. Okay, Jesse? So, like, every once in a while, we'll bring you up, and then you'll do, like, a whole defensive ramble. I like picking on people, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what? And I said... There's nothing better than picking on a guy who goes insane with defense. Um, It's my new thing, and I want people to give me some leeway. Sometimes I'm going to pick on a listener, and I tried to say, you know what? Picking on listeners is not fair. You're going to drive them away. I just want to make it perfectly open and honest. I like picking on tards. And even if they're a listener, 
And then I fight with this battle like, ah, but that's going to make good listeners afraid. But and no, right, it won't. I know, but this is why I'm saying it out in the open. Um, you have nothing to fear unless you're a queer. I mean, ask Xander. Xander has been treated with respect throughout this whole thing, even though he's done a couple of crimes. But he's nothing got... Nothing fear So Xander knows... And all I want is to have a cold beer. Can you take a picture of the Wi-Fi password for me? Sorry, my computer's glitching out. Do you have that password? I think the Wi-Fi is out. I probably kicked it out. You're just done with the internet. No. Well, how am I supposed to operate it the show? It doesn't matter. Who cares? You're a girl. Here. Uh, get me a song. Oh, you can't. I can't. That's oh, what I'm trying to then, tell you. Oh, okay. Then we need the... Try the Wi-Fi. Our Wi-Fi's out. But I probably unplugged it. Who knows with me? Um, I like to just don't, dude, no pick on everyone. That's why we love you. What does that mean? He's saying no pick on everyone. That's okay. why we love you. I, but I want people to know it's not like a random act of violence here. I'm only going to pick on people that really deserve it. You have nothing to worry about. This is the only thing that worries me. I don't want some guy, Sam Malone, sitting at home going, Am I the next victim of Mike's? Exactly. I think people think that you just randomly flip out on it's anyone random. on your path. But it's like, yeah. no, every guy who's been picked on deserves it. And any guy exactly. who doesn't deserve it gets forgiven. Have you seen Kanye's new Doom haircut? I love this. Xander Crimes. Gasp. Oh, people are on that. Yeah. Oh, he's done crimes. Everyone has. Everyone who likes me has done something malicious. Uh, it feels like a massacre in a gay bar. Sam Malone. Mersh deserves it. Trust me, guys. I don't pick on the innocent. Sam Malone, uh, you gave all the new fools a chance to defend themselves as well. It's targeted assault. I love all these guys, man. If it were up to me, we have so many new. By the way, I wanted to do a dedicated, sincere thank you to the new Scars Club members. Not going to say the number, but more members than I've ever seen in my whole life to the point me and Jules sit there and every three minutes we had to turn off our email alert. It's bloop, 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 or the chime, whatever. It actually makes me extremely nervous. It's so many people are listening to Red Bar now. I don't even know how. Just the YouTube, that's it. It exposed us to all these people. Here's what I want to say. You're joining the Scars Club. We will not let you down. We respect you in this decision you made. And we will give you the goods. We love you. And the people coming out, all these new people, I would love to introduce myself to you. Would you like to spend three days in a hotel room with me at the Wisconsin Dells? It's a fun family land. Come with me to my paradise. Do I would you know love the to. song Holiday Inn by Chingy? I know Holiday by Weezer. No. Why? I want to sing that now. I want my one. How about I do my one with first? Ludacris? That would be a great karaoke song. Put it up. Put it up. I'll do it. I love Ludacris. There you go. One sec. Red Bar. I'm really uh, thankful for all the people who have joined Scars Club and made our lives a blessing. <laughs> and um, I will not let you down. I say this to people when they go, man, just join Scars Club. I love this. I go, I won't let you down. You won't regret this. And I take it very, very seriously. This is not a fly-by-night radio show. This is, uh, we care about this more than we care about George Floyd. And we, believe me, he's number one in the world as far as people to mourn and love and cherish. I love George Floyd so much that I keep digging up his grave only to be yelled at with, he was uh, he was cremated, Mike. You're digging holes like a gopher. You're ruining the cemetery. He ain't here. And I say, he's got me somewhere. And I'm busting my hump over all this dirt, trying to dig up him. And I'm digging up old people's family members. So many sarcophaguses, sarcophaguses. I just want George Floyd to be back, and I'm sorry I can't stop digging. I'm the diggingest dog. You ever read that book? You're digging up the whole site, sir. I'm looking for my friend, George Floyd. No one's even trying to bring him back. 
You ever try this? You dig up a man, hold his arms like this and make him wiggle. It's better than not being around. You know, I try to say this to Mac Miller's family. Mac Miller's family has two choices. You never see your son again, or I dig him up before he rots. Do you want him to turn into snail mucus? How about this? Mac Miller's family, I dig up your son before he rots, and I cover him, cover him in what's that stuff we use to prevent stains on our sneakers? Scotch guard. Why hasn't anyone tried this? Dig up the soul of the son. Scotch guard him so he doesn't rot. Cover him with a coating. And then pretend, have a guy prop him up. Hi, Mom and Dad. It's me, Mac Miller. I'm back. That's, is it better that he decays in earth? And turns into bug? Or should you see him one more time with me operating the optics and making it funny? I don't understand, lady. Do I have a song? It's Chingy. With Holiday here on Red. I hope it has the lyrics, Jules. I don't see anything. Oh, fuck. Here's a rap song for everybody. Man. There's no words. No Why words. Do that? Why how would can they make a karaoke How is it legal? I want to show people. How is this legal? Here, here's the word. To make a karaoke song that has no words. It's embarrassing. Some people are doing live broadcasts. Whenever I hear Mac Miller's name, it sounds like mine. A puppet corpse is better than nothing. Mac Miller has some zannies in his pockets. Yeah. That's why I'll dig him up too to get Maybe he's got some money. Holiday and that's the lyric. I need the song. They don't have. Well, then we don't do it. I don't know this song. I don't know why you think I know all this shit. Now, get me Holiday by Weezer. They don't have that as karaoke Oh, either. oh, you know. Then get me Sublime. Get me something good. Man. <laughs> I love Sublime. I've been listening to them. There's this uh, shirt by Wacko Maria that I want. It's 800 bucks. It's a sublime shirt by Wacko Maria. I don't really have the shoulders for it, but uh, I would love to own it. I love shirts. I'll buy them even if I can't wear them. What is this? Uh, Money, that's what I want by the Beatles. Why are you sending me this? I don't want money. I want cash. Don't know it. Do Holiday and... Mikey meltdown. Is this a meltdown that I'm having today? Yeah. Do I have a song? I mean, what are you doing if not getting me songs? Like, what are you computing? And then I'm like, do I have a song? You're like, nope. But I saw you computing. So, what's computing? I was checking the songs that the other guys sent, but they suck. Oh. is on the spot parodies go about <laughs> it's never been done <laughs> that was fucking nuts if you clip that and put that on youtube i'll do a copyright claim and it'll <laughs> ruin your channel <laughs> don't expose me bro man podcaster sings <laughs> sublime cover poor taste <laughs> dot gif <laughs> how good was that Oh, Tis anyone? Jesse. What other songs could be? And this is a tribute. It's a song. If you want to cancel someone for a song, you look at Eminem. If you want to cancel me over a song that I wrote in memorandum of, go ahead. Now, can Alex Jones sign me as official uh, band? Mike, you said you're on a diet. It's working. Mike is on fire. Thank you so much. I thought that was going to be, oh, you look big. Yeah, I'm on a great diet, but I did have a hamburger yesterday. Do you know the song The Distance by Cake? I don't like it. I don't feel that's a song. Okay. That's more of a meme. He's going the di- It's if, if you can't sing to it, it's not a song. And that's not a rap. It's in between. He's going the distance. I don't like that at all. Who told you Cake? Just a lot of people Mike, were saying. Mike, do you have a colonostomy bag? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yes. Who do you think you're talking That's to? It's Jesse's guys. Oh, God. Jesse's people are the it's biggest so druggies. Stupid. Seriously, we're going to, I'm going to make that pot of awful podcast 
into Nobody Likes Onions. Yeah. Where it's embarrassing to even go around. I will. Just, I'm going to take my time, though, over the course of two or three years. I'm going to make it so you go, Pod Awful? That's the show that Red Bar makes fun of on Pod Watch. <laughs> That's not a real show. That's a show that nobody likes. I'm doing that to Pod Awful. That Jesse, the only way he could redeem himself, stripping naked, getting down on his knees with that pure white ass, it's the only thing that's going to remind me of Louis J. Gomez's son bent over with that butt. They're all saying pot awful already is that bad. It's already exactly. that low to me. Yeah, I know. And Jesse should really read the comments. He thinks he's on fire because he's got guys like Nat Klo and this woman. They're like, this is amazing. He doesn't realize that the people are telling him it's amazing. It's six fucking creeps. <laughs> you know. you got to go to the bring back group, Jesse, which you're in. Read what they're saying about you. It's over. Isn't that I know, terrible? The post where they posted they decided, Jesse's show with here, all of the comments. What here's the thing about. I was very um, proud of here's everyone. Here's the thing about our fans. If somebody's got me, even our best fans will go, dude, Mike, man, you got got. They will. You see, our fans are strict. Oh, no. Our fans are as strict as me. They hate Jesse. And now they're all activated, finding every copy that he's ever that's done. All I that's all I wanted because I was seeing all this stuff exactly. about Jesse. Tell him. I was seeing all this stuff about Jesse that was driving me insane. But Mike was always like, ugh, we don't go after people that are below us. Yeah, we don't go after people below. who have nothing to lose. We exactly. don't have to go after people who are stinky and have bad breath. So I was like, okay. That's fine. Yeah. Kept it in. I kept it in. I kept seeing she Jesse do these little things. I Jesse. Would see, I, would I don't even have a really a problem with Ooh, him. She hates Jesse. him. Oh, this Jesse. Oh, I would clench my fist. He's so disgusting, isn't he? And and he's short, too. He I keeps... got drunk on the last show, and then I let it all out. And... You want him dead. But no, I was going to say, now that it's oh. all out there and that everybody knows and that everybody's posting all of his theft and his yeah. terribleness on the BBG, now I'm like, this is all I ever this wanted. This is all we ever wanted. And now he, his show is, I'm it's never going to be the same. Now anybody watches is going, eh, this is kind of red, very. Says, Why exactly are you going to stop copying <laughs> my dude? And you know what happened in his uh, rebuttal? He did a lot of lies and everyone saw right through it, you know. He's so used to telling lies to Nat Klo. That just and, fall for yeah, it. Yeah, because really, he's got that. And I keep saying Melton. Like, you, you're you you're all convinced that Melton's got that six fans and they believe him. And you're going, how could anyone believe? It's identical. And he's so used to, because they'll fall for anything. So he's so used to it. And he thought he could just, his confidence. That's what I'm saying. They're like drunk on this confidence that the, it's working. And then he did what I he did. I don't think that he has any confidence. He's forcing well, it. Well, of course not. Like, yeah. I clicked. He did this big, long four-hour show, and I was clicking through to different parts because everyone was going, oh, he's talking about how Jules is obsessed with him, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's stuff. how and you I know. I wanted to see like, some of what he was saying. I was clicking through the episode, and every time code that I clicked in was him just nervously defending himself. We got to like, do an episode about nervous. Kelsey, his wife. You got to meet his no, wife, I Kelsey. I don't like getting involved with other It girls. doesn't matter. I don't We're, like being on a girl on girl. I know. I'd like to be versus Jesse. I'll do Kelsey. Like you it. do Jesse. Yes. Okay, perfect. I'll I do like Kelsey. You got to meet Jesse's go wife. Other girl. Jesse is doing a thing where he found a woman in Australia and he's only had an online. Rel they've never really? met. They've never seen each other. And she's this crackhead. She's like way worse than anything you've ever seen. And he thinks he's in love. This is his first girlfriend. All we wanted was Jesse to apologize and be our servant. And he refuses to be a slave to the bar. Jesse is literally like, here's how I could wrap it up. He's studi. Stu you remember Studi? Yeah. Like, everybody can agree Studi should be subservient to Red Bar, right? He should be, like, on his knees. That's Jesse. Jesse is Studi, but with a show, and he copies all these guys, and he fooled, like, 70 re into thinking he's got a show. And we really, we look, whenever I go against a show, I check out their fans first. And Jesse's inner circle... 
They make Todd Detter look like Barack Obama! They make Todd Detter look like Malik Obama, which is a girl that I would eat the fuck out. And then I'd be like, was that barbecue? <laughs> Tastes like burnt ends. Jesse's fan guy in the chat says, when Jules looks in the mirror, she sees Jesse. And I actually have a story. When we were on our way to Home Bloody Depot the Jesse. other day, I was in the back yeah, of Yeah, we actually do. Listen to and this. And I was wearing, I have these blue sunglasses with these tiny circles that are like these Ray-Bans. Yes. They're cool. They're not they're like Ray -Bans. Jesse's. Yeah, Jesse's are those party city they're ones. They're cool. Okay, they're girl sunglasses. Yeah. And then I have my hair parted in the middle. Same. And then in the rear view mirror, I could only yeah. see the blue sunglasses and then like the top of my head with my yeah. middle part hair. And I glanced at myself, yeah. and in the first glance, I saw that I was Jesse, and I had like a vision of myself yes. as Jesse. Well, we're Jessie. haunted. And then I became Jesse in my, my oh, own mind, and became. now I am him. Well, oh, you're him. <laughs> so just so you know. Um, we do this thing where we look in mirrors, and we go, bloody Jesse, bloody Jesse, bloody. You got to say it a hundred times, and then you see him in the mirror. It's horrifying! <laughs> We're going to pick on him for three full years, slowly dripping it out. And I just hope to give him a heart attack. He's a, it, it, you, listen, it's just uh, a fun thing we want to do. <laughs> and I know it's beneath us. This Jesse guy, we've always hated him since 2011. And now we just want to torture him. I'd like to dress do. up as him from now on. We should do a thing where you come in the studio. We paint a little fucking f mustache on you that's <laughs> he's got a completely bald ass and perv or what do you call this a little children's mound this is all bald everything <laughs> below he's got this very filthy stash everything below is waxed <laughs> and uh he's completely bald that's why i said Louis j gomez's son looks older than jesse even, when naked but even he grows like one millimeter of hair on his little poochie and then he takes the wax kit even though it's not ready to be waxed at all according to every website yeah. it's not ready he sticks it right on there even though it's a tiniest yeah. bit of hair it won't it's be just he's a few ripping it off he's ripping the wax strips off going ah ah screaming and imagine, it's just ripping off his skin but imagine him actually to get that thing imagine bald. jesse ps with that long hair standing there naked with those thighs completely milky white bald thighs <laughs> standing there naked with that little schmendrick sticking out Ooh, Ooh, i'd flick that thing too even if it's gay i'd go oh ow oh that hurt my fucking nail <laughs> i hate nail oh my god you want to hear a cringe moment yesterday can i tell them my story i what is it i'm don't I'm, interrupt how about okay. that woman you know i got a wife she looks in the mirror and sees jesse ps back at her <laughs> i don't know how long this relation i gotta tell everyone my story you're bleaching and cutting off my hair though this week so exactly. i'm not gonna be jesse we're we, totally I'm doing a full makeover i'm doing a makeover to jewels as if we're on the run bonnie and clyde and we're in like a hotel and yeah, we gotta like, i'm cutting my hair off in three cuts like yeah. it's long all the way down my back you ever seen the outsiders it's going tch, tch, tch. It's going to be like Pony Boy. We got to change her look quick to get out of this mess. Another hit show, Jules. Baruch Atta, I don't know. Okay, now that we have their money, let's kill all their families. Let's rape everybody. This isn't a Tom Segura type of misdirection thing where he was accidentally caught. Now he's going to make it. This is a... Oh, my God. We are still on the air. Yeah, we know we're on the air. We don't give a shit. We're going to Temple. We're using your cards. Oh, wait. I am still... We don't care. Good night.